Hi guys, it's Emma from Peaks and Valleys and I'm bringing you another video. Today's video is going to be about bath salts. Well, this is like my fourth time recording this, so <laughs> um, hopefully this time it works out. Uh, so I'm using my new tablet, so we're going to give this a whirl. If the quality is not so great, please comment and let me know and I'll switch back to my phone. Anyways, um, so today is about bath salts. Um, so unfortunately, a lot of people don't take baths anymore just because they simply don't have the time. Um, and I want to bring awareness about different bath salts that can really um, actually help you in more ways than you know. And I think more people, when they know about the benefits, will dedicate time to making sure that they get a bath and get those benefits. So Peaks and Valleys make 16 ounce jars, um, and this is the lid. They come in peppermint, eucalyptus, and lavender, and they're 16 ounces, so that's like about 6 to 8 different baths, um, and they're $8. And this is what the salt looks like. Um, and it's got a few main ingredients in it. Um, some of the main ingredients are Himalayan sea salt, Mediterranean sea salt, kosher salt, food coloring, Epsom salt, essential oil. And that's it. Um, okay, so I want to bring awareness about what these different um, salts actually help your body do and help bring awareness for that. Okay, so I'm going to start with Himalayan sea salt. Um, it is, Himalayan sea salt is the big pink coarse pieces. So like this, that's a piece of Himalayan sea salt. It's the big coarse chunks. Um, the smaller pieces that look kind of like sprinkles or something is the kosher and the Epsom salt. Okay, so Himalayan sea salt helps balance your pH of your body. And a lot of people don't know this, but if you have an imbalanced pH. It actually affects your mental states and your physical. Your body doesn't have as much energy, you're more tired, more sluggish, and mentally you get more sad, more angry, um, and you have less control over your emotions. When your pH is balanced, you feel more control over your life, um, you're happier, and your body feels just overall better. Um, so what, these salt, what this salt does is basically it detoxifies your body and gets rid of those bad toxins. Um, next, it also provides trace minerals and improves your hydration. Um, so it open, opens up your pores and allows more water to come in. Um, it improves your body mineral status, reduces muscle cramps, and balances your blood sugar. We're going to jump next to our Mediterranean sea salt. Um, there's so much I had to write it down, so I'm reading off of that. <laughs> um, so magnesium is one of the things in Mediterranean sea salt. And magnesium helps combat stress. Um, the Mediterranean sea salt also helps with fluid retention, slows your skin aging, calms your nervous system, improves your circulation, strengthens your bone and nails, and the potassium in it gives you more energy. So yay to bath salts. Um, another salt that we have included is our kosher salts. Kosher salts just kind of mix with... I'm going to skip. Hold on. The commercial. Okay. So kosher salt basically is just a lighter version of a table salt. Um, so it's going to taste like table salt really seasoning. <laughs> you know, you know, some people use it in their cooking as um, compared, like, it's like basically like organic versus non-organic butter. Um, there is a slight difference, and it's a more lighter feel, um, more natural, definitely to use than table salt, but um, it's definitely got a little bit of a different taste to it. Not that we're eating our best salts. <laughs> um, so anyways... Coaster salt is really good with binding all of our salts together. So it takes your Mediterranean sea salt, your Himalayan sea salt, and your Epsom salt and kind of binds them together in a nice chunk and soaks up that um, essential oil, which is really, really, really important because um, it helps keep the shelf life longer and it really soaks up the smell so that you can really smell it and your body can really feel um, the essential oil that is added in here. Food coloring obviously is added in here just to make a light pink color. I only use like two drops for the whole thing. So it's not going to dye your bathtub. It's not going to dye your skin. You're totally fine. It just makes it look pretty in pink. Um, and Himalayan sea salt already is pink anyways. So those are those darker chunks. Um, okay. The last thing is Epsom salt. A lot of people are very familiar with Epsom salt because a lot of athletes use it after um, a big intense workout or a big match game, whatever. Uh, but they'll just put up some salt in their bath. They won't put essential oil. They won't add anything else. It'll just be the Epsom salt. 
and um, what they don't realize is there's other salts that can add to it to make their bath even greater than the Epsom salt. But Epsom salt alone is really, really, really good for your skin. So I'm gonna read something um, really quick to you guys about some really cool facts about Epsom salt. So your body has iron and calcium, as we all know, that's why we drink our milk. Uh, but many of you don't know that our body is actually really, really deficient in its magnesium. Uh, magnesium helps regulate over 325 of our body enzymes and is the fourth most important positively charged ion in our body. Um, additionally, most of us are deficient in magnesium. This is due to agriculture and diet changes. So, I mean, obviously over the past 100 years, they didn't eat, you know, Kraft mac and cheese. <laughs> um, so we have a lot more processed food that lack these important nutri nutrients that our body needs, one of them being magnesium. Um, so there's a lot of information that I'm going to later include about um, bath salts, especially Epsom salts. Um, there's many articles you can read. Um, and right now there's a lot of controversy over um, are Epsom salts really beneficial or is this just kind of like a, a mind thing where we confuse ourselves into thinking that it works and it doesn't really. Um, but being that so many people use it and they've noticed difference, I would say that there is some kind of benefit to it. Um, it's just been very mixed. Either way though, this combination that I've included in my bath salts has definitely been proven to work and help, um, depending on what your situation is. So if you're really stressed, it does help with stress because you're relaxing. Um, but it really all depends on the person. Um, muscle cramps, whatever. I'm going to skip this commercial again. Hold on. Okay. By the way, this is Melanie Martinez. This is the um, whole Cry Baby album. That's what's being played today. So feel free to go listen to it on your own. I love Melanie Martinez. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I will put more information up. But basically, this is a 16-ounce jar. And this will last you six to eight baths. So I really say, let me show you. Um, this is the jar. And you really, if you're going to use it, I'd say from this line to this line right here it's like all you need only an ounce or two or three depending on how big your bathtub is and how much salt you really want um so instructions for using are really simple you just got to run hot water put your how much ever salt you're going to use in let it sit for eight to ten minutes for the salt to kind of start dissolving otherwise you're going to be sitting on coarse salt and it you know might not be the most comfortable so you want to let it dissolve just about eight to ten minutes should be good in warm water and then you're all set to go um, so again, these are sold for $8 on our website, or you can email us and special order them. They're laniproducts at gmail.com, L-A-N-I products at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook at Peaks and Valleys, or um, you can comment here on the YouTube channel and ask any kind of questions, or feel free to have a discussion about different bath salts. Um, next time I'll be coming to you with a different video about how to make special candle jars to put around your bathtub. Um, so until then, I'll catch you guys next time.